Well, thank you, because we're going to make that point right now and tie them together. <laughs> President Shelley, we are both very concerned about the regulatory uncertainty surrounding the Navajo Generating Station in northern Arizona. The Navajo Generating Station is essential to the Navajo Nation, providing almost 500 jobs at, just at the station itself and an additional 400 at, at the uh, Black Mesa coal mine in Cayenta. The station is important because it is a sole source of power for the Central Arizona Project, which provides nearly half of the water for the metropolitan Phoenix area, approximately 85% of the water for the Tucson area, the number five and number 32nd largest cities in the country, and nearly 90% of the water for Pinal County, one of the fastest growing counties in the country. As you mentioned in your testimony, the EPA is expected to issue a final rule on the BART process in determining how that regional haze rule for the Clean Air Act will be adjudicated. As you know, this final rule could put an effective end to the Navajo Generating Station and put the future of Arizona's water supply or process under serious doubt. Couple that with the need for um, Los Angeles water and, and power to be out of the equation as a partnership, this provides a lot of uncertainty. When you were, um, how were you involved with the EPA process and what hoops did you have to jump through and how could you look at that process in a little better light? Uh, <clears throat> thank you for the question. Uh, I know that the Navajo Generating Station is under renegotiation by the Navajo Nation. And uh, let me make a point here. Uh, it's not, the, what I'm going to say here, my statement is not the Navajo position. Without, uh, I cannot position a Navajo position without the Navajo Nation Council being involved. We're still in the negotiation stage and we're still going through a public hearing and so on. But let me say this, my statement will relate to Navajo interests. I'm not stating the position, but this is Navajo interest. And I, I still, uh, I want to express that. Number one, Navajo interest. There is three unit in the Navajo generating station, and two unit has low, low no knocks so far. And that's been upgraded to that. And the third unit is being shut down to also upgrade it to low knocks. But we have an issue with the US EPA. The US EPA comes around and says, I want the full upgrade on your emission uh, scrubber, which will cost about a billion dollars. And uh, that is where we get into uh, uh, our difference comes out. So the a SRP are running the plant, and we have met on this. And the SRP and the Navajo Nation are supporting the low knocks, but EPA is not. So it's a big concern to us because what everybody is saying is that if SRP goes with a higher cost of scrubber upgrade, it also, we're in the process of negotiation, so it will hurt the fee for the lease that we would be negotiating. So, so it will be lower. Mainly it's just common sense. If they're going to spend a billion dollars, it will, it will not be there for us to, to meet what we want for the least fee. So that is a big concern to us. That is the Navajo interest I'm expressing to you. So who are the large percentage owner? So yesterday, we have gone to those large percentage owner, which is 23% is owned by Department of Interior. So we have asked our champion, our trustee, to stand up for us against US EPA, to stand up with us to go with the low NUNX emission, not the, what the US EPS are saying, the billion dollar upgrade. So we have asked for that. And uh, those are what, what we, we have gone around yesterday. The other one is the, grass, the grassroots Navajos that lives around the power plant also are saying that we really don't, we really want to shut down, we do want to shut down the Navajo generating station. But when we, you talk to them, the reason why they're saying that is because there's no improvement around that power plant. 
believe it or not, only half a mile from the power plant, there is no running water and no electricity for these residents. It doesn't make sense. I believe we did, as a president, I did talk to the SRP people. What can we do for the grassroots people around there? They are willing to up to work with the grassroots, the residents there, and giving them water and electric. So that's the compromise they made. So there it is. The grassroots concerns have been resolved. So again, uh, here's the thing. We also told the Department of Interior, you had to create another federal line item budget, which is going to cost Congress $50, billion, $50 million a year, year, meaning that if you shut down Navajo Generating Station, the shareholder, that other tribe in the water area, will lose that, that funding. So this is why it's a big concern with the shareholder. They don't want to shut down. And then you go to the state of Arizona, they also don't want to shut it down. So here we are. We have US EPA trying to do that. So this is the big thing, and this is why we went to the Department of Interior to stand up for us and, and take a position here. And uh, this is a big concern to us. So the Navajo Nation really don't want to see it because we have two tribes that depends on their, their survival. The Navajo Nation provides coal to the generating and also the Hopi tribe. Hopi tribe has 70% of their revenue. They, it comes off coal. Now, if that shuts down, the Hopi tribe, 70% will be in jeopardy, and they'll be hurt. And that's the reason why this is a difference between uh, the U.S. EPA and our position. Thank you.